Hey guys, so what we're going to talk about here is um, two weapon, dual weapon combinations and in this case two different weapons. What I mean by different weapons is they both have different properties. One's long, one's short. One is just an impact tool. One is an impact tool and has the capacity to deliver a very high strobing light, a distraction. I like these types of combinations because when you're able to perform a distraction prior to initiation of contact, it creates a, that, a window of opportunity. It disrupts their, um, it disorients them and disrupts their, what sometimes is called an OODA loop, or the ability to observe, orientate, decide, and, and act upon me. Okay, so um, that's what we're gonna do here. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about guard. Okay, so a guard I like for this type of combination is going to be from a false lead position, meaning I like to put my right lead, lead forward but my left shoulder forward. I like to bring the left elbow up. This protects me. It's, 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 it protects me, but it's also preloading two things. One is preloading my light is directed straight at my opponent's eyes. And two, I can use that to jab or to strike. Okay, it could be a fluid or, or a jabbing broken strike on there. So I can deliver distraction and deliver effective strikes in and out with that while maintaining a guard. My primary weapon is going to be here on my shoulder and this can be delivering strikes, circular strikes to keep someone at a distance or it can be delivering more fluid strikes to deliver some impact trauma. So I, an application I would hate to let someone get too close to me. I don't want people to get close. I've got a distance tool. I use it. But the reality is you can't always you, um, dictate position, distance, things just happen in combat, especially if you have multiple opponents and whatnot. People can close the gap. So my first line of defense would be the distance of my baton, in this case. My second line of defense would be jabbing out to keep someone away. If someone is able to close in, I want my guard to be there, okay? In other words, let's just talk about a straight line. If I'm in this position here, and a right-handed attacker throws a straight line, you can see I've got my guard here, okay? So if he does that again, I would immediately follow up with opening up. I can use this to hook open up and strike, open up and come into control holds and so on and so forth or maybe just strike strike and then jab and keep them away. So I, I want to immediately follow up with some kind of counter attack. Now if that was more of a hooking blow, for example, coming here, okay, I've still got my jawline covered, I've got my elbow high and again I'm on the inside line. This can pump straight out, okay, I can deliver strikes here on the inside line, okay? If it was more of a low, because this, this may seem like an open area here, if that strike comes in low, bang, I'm immediately coming through, and I can immediately follow through with strikes, thrusts, use that to hook and control, in addition to strike with it. If that was more of a hooking strike, on the right side, I've got my center line covered, I've got my left side covered. On the right side, my guard is very closed. I've got this closed right here, based on the position of my hand. I don't want to have it like this because a steel baton is going to hit you in the head, going to get that secondary impact. So as it comes in, I cover and look where my weapon is. Bang! That's my first immediate counter attack. I come in here, one, and come straight in. One and two. It could be one, two, and three. Okay. Or I could be coming through here and inserting in to a control hole of some kind with that baton. Okay. So that's my guard. My guard is my last line of defense from the um, false lead position using a combination of a long weapon and a short weapon with distraction capability.